polyfire here. And what we're going to do is in the past we had took a bread, regular bread of magazine M9 and converted it to fit the Ruger P95. Well, we're going to take and modify it to fit the Springfield Armory XDM. And you can see this mag's already been already done it in the previous video converted it to the P95. Well, what we're going to do here is show you what to do to convert it where it allowed to work in the Springfield XDM. First off, you need a piece of paper and your Springfield factory magazine. It's just a square piece of paper I cut out, which is almost the length, close to the length of the magazine, folded all the way around. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna line this edge here up. It's gonna be lined with this front. Line it up good. Then we're going to take our big magic crayon and go over this hole to give us an idea where to mark our hole. And you see it's coming right there. I'm going to try to get it real good so it'll be easier. You can see where it's at and this paper is lined up with the top front of the magazine. We're going to transfer it over to the other magazine. You can see it, that's about where we're going to be making our drill, drill us a hole. But first I'm going to cut that out with a blade. See we got this cut out. We're going to set it there and make it lined up and straight. Now we're going to move it over here to the other one. One we're going to make and we're going to mark it, which I've already marked this one. This is the only way, this is how I marked it. Simple red marker. Now we're going to take a file, we're going to drill drill a hole in but first we need to disassemble the magazine there's a spring in there it's going to come out there you do not forget the follower there now we're going to take a 5 30 seconds drill bit and drill a hole in the center of that and then we're going to take a square file and work our way to make it shape it look like that it looks kind of big there but once we start following it we'll use this as a guide to where we need to be at when we file the metal out and all these guns have been chamber checked i should have told you that from begin with but here we go Okay, there's the, the original factory magazine. Keep that in front of you. And let's start filing. We're going to shape this hole to look like that. As you see, we've been filing and got it going. And we're pretty close. You need to check it each time you file. Because once you take metal out, it won't come. You can't put it. It's hard to put it back. But you can see it fits in there. We're going to put the magazine back together. I just put this base plate on there so you can see you know where it needs to be at where it's going to stop at but before you put it back together reach in there and make sure you get all these burrs with this file with a flat file so let's put this thing back together and put some bolts in it and see if it shoot okay what we're going to do here we're going to take the beretta m9 magazine that we converted that hole there we converted for the p95 and this in here we just got done converting for the xdm and what we're going to do, we are going to fire through the Beretta, five rounds, five rounds through the Ruger, five rounds through the XD. But before we get started, this magazine we converted will not hold the slide back on the last round on either the Ruger P95 or the XDM. So let's shoot. And we're clear. P95. Got 
a little more in the chamber. And we're clear. Springfield Armory XDM. And we're clear. One mag, three guns. You know magazines are about 30 or 40 dollars a piece. It's just a quick way if you're on a tight budget. Thank you for watching. God bless. Shoot safe.